one of the biggest selling points of the 950 and the 950 XL is the continuum display dock, which uh, this uh, dock plug from your 950 or your 950 XL into a uh, monitor or a regular TV that uses HDMI and plug in uh, a, a USB type C to the bottom of your 950, 950 XL and on your TV or computer monitor, you could get almost full access to Windows 10. So let's go to the revisit that and see what it's all about. There's been plenty of updates with the 950 XL and the 950, and we got a couple of updates with the display dock. So let's go to the plug it on in and let's revisit the 950 XL, the 950 with the, the continuum display dock. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So today, I'm gonna kind of go revisit the continuum uh, display dock. So right now I got the USB type C uh, going into the 950 XL. I have my uh, HDMI is going to the TV. But for this, I'm gonna use a Bluetooth keyboard that I have paired on my 950 XL. Uh, and you can use a uh, Bluetooth mouse uh, with the 950 XL, but I'm just gonna use the keyboard. And I'm gonna use the 950 XL as a mouse. So basically, if you click here, now I'm able to use the uh, 950 as a mouse. So. I'm going to switch gears and get on the TV, guys, so you can see the 950 XL in action. Okay, guys, so right now um, I have Continuum set up here, and I'm using the touchpad as a mouse. So uh, I can navigate here, and uh, let's just see what's new here. Last time I did this, um, everything was pretty good, pretty smooth, pretty fluid. Uh, and again, you know, right now we still have that same issue uh, with Continuum with uh, not having a lot of app support. So uh, that is still apparent here after, you know, nine months after the release. So right now we still don't have a lot of uh, support here for Continuum. Uh, so basically you do have Word. Uh, and uh, there is some updates there. And again, let's go down and go to a blank document. And this is what I like about Continuum. If you're a college student and you want to get some work done, uh, you can pop in your, your Bluetooth keyboard and, and let's go down and type some stuff up real quick. So, um, and uh, this is a test. And it is a pretty fast and fluid. Uh, no issues with latency. Even though I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard, uh, I'm not having no problems here uh, with using a Continuum. Uh, when you're pulling up websites and stuff like that, yes, you can have multiple windows open and you can have multiple stuff open and stuff like that. And you can use this as a online uh, PC to get work done now you do have support for word and excel and stuff like that but um you know you do miss out on a lot of functionality so let's go to go to a website which is uh let's go to my website easy computer solutions of course all right so uh man i tell you what this is what i like uh, about continuum man it is fast uh, and even though I got a fast internet browser, uh, this is what I like about it. You could actually, you know, you could get some work done. You could get anything you could do online, uh, you could do with Continuum. Uh, it just don't have the app support uh, that uh, a lot of people was wishing and looked for. But yes, you can use your phone as a mouse. And you can always go to easycomputersolution.com and click on my podcast and look at all the latest and greatest podcasts that I got here. Uh, and if you, like I say, I, I am using my 950 XL uh, as a mouse. And it works very fast, very fluid, no issues with that. So uh, the functionality 
of this is, is pretty nice. So overall guys, uh, the look and feel of Windows 10, it looks good and it function as a internet browser, very good. Uh, the 950 XL works very good as a mouse and a keypad, uh, but we still are missing nine months later, we still are missing some of the functionality of Windows 10. So I wish there was something new that I could show you guys after a couple of months we we'll have this, but all the grayed out areas here is apps that's not supported by Continuum. So I can't even, you know, do any benchmarks. And look, some of these apps like A and E and stuff like that, you could go to the website and look at that. I mean, even with Evernote. So most of these apps here that's grayed out, uh, you can go to the website itself, Netflix and stuff like that, PayPal. I mean, yes, so. Uh, I mean, it, it's one of those things that you could juggle by using the display dock as a fully functional PC, a web browser, more like a Chromebook in so many ways. Uh, even though we go into the to the Microsoft Store, 90% of the apps that you have seen here, you can go on the web browser, but it's kind of pretty for nothing, look too, uh, in so many words. And I'm just being honest here. Uh, most of these apps here, History Channel, these are all web browsers where you can go on there and check it out. So basically, guys, I just want to give you a little uh, reboot on the Continuum and the Continuum software. This is Eric for Beats Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the 950 and 950XL. We got Continuum. This is what Microsoft selling point. This is Microsoft saying, Guys, if you got the 950 to 950 XL with Continuum, you don't need a PC. Well, unfortunately, uh, the functionality is not 100% there, uh, but it is a great tool uh, to do a lot of online stuff. So if you like the browser, if you like to get uh, some internet stuff done, yes, the Continuum is a great device, but I mean, when you look at that, what tablets could do, uh, I mean, they got mirror casts and stuff like that. I mean, for extra, uh, you know, 99 bucks for a continuing uh, product, uh, you know, Microsoft got to kind of step up the game a little bit. This is Eric from Computer, so see you on the next video. Peace.